am joined by Pippa Malgram, who is the founder of H Robotics. So it's interesting, most of the drones in the world today are fundamentally toys that were developed for a retail consumer. And so they're not very useful for public safety officials. So in my firm, we built an industrial tool, something that is incredibly rugged and can manage British weather. In fact, we, that's our lab is British weather. Uh, but it's basically a stable platform in the sky to which you can attach virtually any camera, device, sensor, lighting fixture that you need. And then all the data goes to a stable platform in the cloud. And now you have a real-time collaboration tool. You have a way of seeing what is happening, eyes forward, aerial surveillance on a level that just hasn't been available to the public safety uh, community until now. Yeah. And I see you have a, a, an example of one of these here. So, so this is it, we make this. It's the only modular drone system in the world where the arms snap on and off, uh, all of the devices can be slide in and out uh, to give the people using it the maximum choice about what it's going to be doing for them. Uh, and it's just incredibly rugged, very difficult to break. And uh, this is the thing, you know, when you're dealing with a fire or an emergency, uh, flooding, you know, you need something that can handle water, that can handle uh, wind at 25 knots and still be stable. Look, everybody in public safety knows what the cost is of a chopper and what, to, what that is to keep that up in the air is extraordinary. So for a fraction of the cost, you can now have aerial eyes and distributed data. And so that's what we're all about. And uh, just a little about, bit about your background as well, if you don't mind. Absolutely. So uh, I'm a former advisor to President George W. Bush. And in fact, I was in charge of terrorism risk to the U.S. economy after 9-11. So I am particularly aware of the importance of data for public safety, police, fire, in emergencies. Uh, it was extraordinary on 9-11. Uh, we had no communications at that time because Blackberries were prohibited in the White House at that time. But they were the only thing that worked on the day. And it just made me very aware of how important so in our system it comes in a box that it's its own telecom system so that if you turned everything off if you had no satellite you had no mobile phone network you had no electricity no Wi-Fi no nothing you can create a, a network using our broadcasting base as part of the system so I just think that experience of working uh, for the president during that moment in history taught me that lesson.